Hey guys, Austin here, and welcome back to another Pixelmon Guide here on the channel. Today we are going over the final Paldean Tauros form in Pixelmon, the Aqua Breed form. This is what it looks like. It's very cool. And we're going to go over exactly how to get in Pixelmon today. Of course, you guys have been enjoying the guides. Smash the like button, consider subscribing if you're new, because not a lot of people that watch my guides are subscribed. And let's get right into this. There's a lot of Pokemon around me today. We got a pack of Blitzel spawning in right over there. There's like eight or nine of them, which is pretty crazy. I gotta love this new update, because it's literally... All these pack Pokemon and the Pink Doduo just appear everywhere. It's really nice. But yeah, that being said, make sure you guys are on Pixelmon version 9.1.4, Minecraft version 1.16.5. Of course, at the time of recording this, the official version for 9.1.4 still has not released yet. Therefore, we have to go with this dev bill I currently have. Therefore, things are subject to change. So please refer to the wiki page in the description. Later in the future, if you guys want to double check, fact check to make sure everything I'm saying is correct. But I'm pretty sure it's going to stay as is. That being said, this Aqua Breed of Paldean Taurus will spawn in the Sava Shattered Savannah. Shattered Savannah Plateau, Savannah Plateau, and Savannah at an ultra rare chance on land during the dawn slash morning time, and it will have a 45% catch rate. If you, for whatever reason, you decide to breed it, it will be part of the field A group. It will take 5,355 steps to hatch, and it will take around an hour and a half real time to incubate the eggs. The requirements for incubation will be two oak planks, two bricks, and two temple bricks. These are what temple bricks look like. You can find them in your world at Spear Pillar. Or if you want to craft them, it will take two sandstone and two stone bricks for that. Now, if anyone's wondering how these spawns are going to work, currently right now, all three Paldean Taurus have the exact same rarity for spawning, which is ultra rare. I'm not sure if there is going to be a difference between the different breeds, because in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, for those who don't know, the regular combat breed Paldean Tauros is the most common. And then the Blaze and Aqua breeds are the rare spawns that can occur. And normally they spawn in packs. Now, as you guys know, Pixamon in this version has the ability for mobs to spawn in groups. The same Pokemon. So I have no doubt in my mind that when Padeus Toro spawns, it will be in a group. And then maybe one in that group will be one of the two. Again, like I said, I do have the development build right now. So there is no way of knowing 100% guaranteed yet. This stuff is all set in stone. But most of it should be at this point. That being said, that's going to conclude this guide. So, again, this is pretty much how things should spawn. If, for whatever reason, things change drastically, I will make an update guide on these Pokemon, but I don't think it's going to be needed as much. Both of these Pokemon are pretty common and easy to find, even, even though it says very rare. I'm sure we'll be able to find these things, no doubt, in the world. Let me know in the comments down below, though, what you guys think about all these Pokemon that are coming in the new Pixelmon update. Let me know your predictions when you think the new Pixelmon update will officially release for everyone else. And subscribe if you're new. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe. Goodbye.